that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to Welcome to Holy Family's online worship for the third Sunday of Advent. If you'd like to learn more about Holy Family, you can go to holyfamilyfishers.org and see all the announcements for the week, as well as download a copy of the bulletin of this service. You can also see how to contact me, the Reverend Bruce Gray, and even fill out a welcome card. I'd like to highlight just a couple of those announcements that you'd be able to find. One is that we have coming up our Christmas services. They'll be online and the schedule will be 5 p.m. is the children's service, including a reader's theater type of uh, reading of the Christmas story by the children. 9 p.m. will be the lessons and carol service and 11 p.m. will be the midnight mass. Now, all of these are online and so you can also watch them on the YouTube channel for Holy Family. The times I mentioned were when the Facebook watch parties will take place. You can get the links for those on the parish website. A few other announcements for people who would like to help with those Christmas services on the website. There's a sign up genius for the various uh, readers type of roles. We still have a few openings for that. If you are someone who regularly supports Holy Family financially, first of all, thank you. We, it's very necessary. And it's time to make those commitments for 2021. You can do that online. We have on Friday, December 19th at 7 p.m., a Christmas sweater Zoom party for anyone who'd like to be part of that. Very informal, lots of fun. And speaking of lots of fun, on Christmas Day, we'll be having a similar event, though instead of Christmas sweaters, it will be Christmas jammies. So if you'd like to sit in front of your Christmas tree with a cup of hot chocolate and jammies or whatever you'd like to wear, and visit with fellow parishioners on Christmas morning at 10 a.m., that will be live and on Zoom. We hope that you'll feel very welcome to take part in any of these activities. Our worship is found in the Book of Common Prayer. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Let us pray. Stir up your power, O Lord, and with great might come among us. And because we are sorely hindered by our sins, let your bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me, he has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord to display his glory. They shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. I will faithfully give them their recompense, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants shall be known among the nations and their offspring among the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge that they are a people whom the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exalt in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses of the Negev those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. A reading from the book of 1 Thessalonians. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise the words of prophets, but test everything. Hold fast to what is good. Abstain from every form of evil. May the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely. And may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. This is the testimony given by John the Baptist when Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny it. He confessed, I am not the Messiah. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. Then they said to him, Who are you? 
Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? John the Baptist said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. Now they had been sent from the Pharisees. They asked him, Why then are you baptizing, if you are neither the Messiah, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? John the Baptist answered them, I baptize with water. Among you stands one whom you do not know, the one who is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandal. This took place in Bethany across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we heard John the Baptist being given the third degree by messengers from the Pharisees about who was he? Was he the Messiah? Was he the one that they were waiting for? And of course that's the question that makes sense in every season of Advent is are we waiting for the right one? Are we setting our eyes on the John the Baptist people that are forerunners, very important people, folks that are pointing us towards God, or are we focusing on God? It's a simple equation, but of course very difficult to live out because this is the time of year in any year that is full of distractions, full of different goals, full of different opportunities, full of different problems. And some of those, they're exaggerated this year because of COVID-19, because of political unrest, because not being able to see our families, not being able to travel as freely, to do preparations, a whole lot of reasons. And so this is an excellent year to stop and wonder for whom are we waiting. I have to admit, as you've heard, some of you at least, before I have a weakness for old movies and sometimes the sentimental ones this time of year are the best. And one of the things that comes out again and again is do you believe, but not do you believe in God, not do you believe in the coming of Christ, but do you believe in the primary figure of American Christmas celebrations? Purposely using some code language there in terms of the wee ones that might be listening. And frankly, I don't care whether someone believes in that or not. It can be lots of fun. But it does tell us that there's a certain distraction in the air about who to believe and what to believe, what to expect. And one of the things that Advent is supposed to pull us back towards is expecting God, expecting Christmas miracles, not through the working of elves, but instead through the working of loving hearts inspired by God. And so as we walk into some of the final days before Christmas. Hopefully, even with all of the challenges of this particular year, we can begin to open our hearts a little more to the joy that can be in the air. Not because of the particular decorations hung or the music playing, but because the Holy Spirit is flowing. God is reaching out to each and every one of us, wishing for us a renewed sense of peace, a renewed sense of what the future holds, a renewed sense of purpose. As each one of us is called to pray, to serve, to learn, to worship, so that the world may become a better place, a better place not just because of the Christmas spirit, but more so because of the Holy Spirit that is coming among us as it has for thousands of years and filling us with God's love to share with the rest of the world. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Please join me in the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, 
of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made. Of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church, that we all may be one. Grant that every member of your church may truly and humbly serve you, that your name may be glorified by all people. In our diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray for the clergy and staff of St. John's Bedford, that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. In our parish cycle of prayer, we pray for the Bogeman, Bolander, and Bond families, and for those who serve as our Daughters of the King Ministries. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. We pray for those expecting babies soon, especially Anne and Max. We pray in thanksgiving for our church community. Even when we are physically separated, we are one body in prayer. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake, that our works may find favor in your sight. Especially remember those on our prayer list, Linda, Faye, David, Lorraine, Shannon, Barb, Laura, Butch, Ed, Joe, Barbara, Daryl, and Mary. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, that they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our own needs and for those of others. Lord, you have apportioned to your people the manifold gifts of the Spirit. Grant them amid the changes of the world that your church may abide and be strengthened in ministry through continuous outpouring of your gifts. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness 
and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Peace be with you. And also with you. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also, and also with you. With you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, because you sent your beloved Son to redeem us from sin and death and to make us heirs in him of everlasting life, that when he shall come again in power and great triumph to judge the world, we may without shame or fear rejoice to behold his appearing. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself, and when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you, in your mercy, sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and said to his disciples, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Father, whose Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in a wonderful sacrament, has left us a memorial of his passion. Grant us so to venerate the sacred mysteries of his body and blood, that we may ever perceive within ourselves the fruit of his redemption, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A special blessing for the season of Advent. May Almighty God, 
by whose providence our Savior Christ came among us in great humility, sanctify you with the light of his blessing, and set you free from all sin. May he whose second coming in power and great glory we await, make you steadfast in faith, joyful in hope, and constant in love. May you who rejoice in the first advent of our Redeemer, at his second advent, be rewarded with unending life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Stop at the beginning. And when you get to the end... Yes. Stop. <laughs> no, you need to do it. Stop. No. Stop. Stop. <laughs> yes. Yes. And when you come to the end, stop. See? Stop. <laughs> Creator of the stars of night, your people's everlasting light. Oh Christ, Redeemer of us all, we pray you hear us when we call. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm never going to be able to sing this now. <laughs> Trouble with having a cracked eye watch is it's hard to find the fancy little gadget that'll turn the filming on and off. So, back to old school times. Hmm. Meow, never. Meow, meow, meow. Never! Never! <laughs> I'll take the never! <laughs> I make the decisions. I am the decider. How <laughs> <laughs> anybody get that one? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Okay, okay. Comment below. <laughs> if you get the joke. <laughs> like it. This time, I'm going to do it right. Okay. I'm ready. For you, oh Lord, my song and stillness. 